so I've just spent the night in a hotel in Tewkesbury and now I'm just on my way for a rendezvous somewhere off the M50. Okay, so I think this might be who we're meeting with, just coming now. Maybe not. Okay, right, so I'm gonna follow this guy anyway. Did that sign just say, danger, give way to aircraft? straighten it up or not. Richard, it's great to be at Trail Quest for the Triumph Adventure Experience. But firstly, what's all the secrecy about with the location? Um, well, obviously, it's a, it's a private estate where we operate. And the idea is not to make it widely known where it is, to avoid people coming onto the site and riding illegally and, and, and just going where they're not supposed to go. So we keep it a little bit discreet uh, until we know someone's actually booked onto the course. It's not that secret, though, is it? There's a big sign on the gate up well, there. Well that's so that you could find us this morning. <laughs> now I need to brush up on my adventure riding skills for reasons that will become clear in the next couple of months but firstly what do you think makes a good adventure rider? I think what we want from an adventure rider they have to bear in mind that they are possibly traveling on their own uh, and certainly traveling in in difficult areas and they need to be able to ride a bike safely because if they fall off their bike which they might easily do, but if they do and they hurt themselves, that's the end of their adventure. But more importantly, they can be in a very difficult location to recover themselves from. So first of all, they need to be able to ride the bike safely. Secondly, they need to be able to negotiate all different types of terrain that they might encounter, and you're not necessarily sure what that's going to be. Um, so they need to be competent in mud, in gravel, in sand, on steep slopes, uh, and so on. And then they need, to, I think, a, a good rider is, is thinking about where they're going and planning for what they're going to be dealing with um, so that they're prepared because we have to be able to face uh, the unexpected. And the purpose of this sort of course is to give you those little ideas and tips in order to help you uh, get yourself home safely. So talk us through the bike that I'm going to be riding today. Yeah. Uh, well, this is the Tiger 800, yeah. uh, the XC, so this is the off-road version. Uh, as far as possible, we, we uh, ensure that you have a, a, a standard bike. So in other words, you could buy this bike from a showroom uh, and go out and ride it. Hang on a minute, we've got this. This doesn't cover standard. Uh, your, map. your map case here. This is because we find that when we have journalists here and so on, they quite easily get lost. So this is just help you get, <laughs> find your way home well, I just again. want to let you know that I actually got a U in geography, embarrassingly. Right, OK. So, <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to be able to read that. So I had an intro to Trail Quest at Triumph Live. Talk about the plan of action for today. Well, for today, yeah. we need to get you ready for your future activities with the adventure bikes, don't we? Yes. So we're going to put you today onto a range of surfaces, uh, starting off on the grass, very quickly into the mud. Uh, we're going to get you into some ruts, uh, both riding through them and across them. Then we're going to get you into our jungle areas uh, where the vegetation is in much closer uh, around you and we're going to get you f hopefully within the first hour or so feeling comfortable on the bikes. Oh my god, something's on fire. Something's on fire. What is that? No, I've just found out that that's for keeping semen. Sheep semen. <laughs> How did they get the semen? Don't ask! <laughs> Your, your leg there was stuck out very rigid. All right, now the problem is, if you hit a big bump, it's gonna push your leg back up through your pelvis and, and bind you, oh, this is gonna hurt. Disgusting. So, just relax. Such a nice bike to ride. I feel quite comfortable quite quickly. So, and I've not had that much time on it really, have I? Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to take you, uh, do a little bit of what we've just been doing, just to keep your confidence going, but then we're going to pull off into an area where there is some quite deep mud. 
We'll stop before we go into it and talk yeah. about it, but then we want you to run the bike through that mud yeah, cool. and so on, uh, and then we'll um, relocate to a slightly more advanced area. Happy with that? I am. I've just got my new boots on though, and um, Bike World director likes me to keep them nice and clean. And I was trying to avoid to put them in. You Bike know, World director's just told them. me he wants to see you in the mud. I've been on a few different training days now with different companies and I've got to be honest every one of them they start back to basics and although sometimes this can seem a little bit annoying and you think well I know that it is good because a it means that they can assess your riding and within the first 10 minutes they know how the day's going to go and, and how you're going to be and also b it stops you saying to them oh you know I've ridden loads I'm really good and then getting out there and, and ditching it on the first corner and looking like a right prat so today we've been out in the field for about an hour just kind of letting them assess my riding and then they had a few different trails for me to try and um, I think actually one point they thought I was going to ditch it on this like really muddy rut, but I didn't, so I felt quite pleased about that. I've not really had that much experience on adventure bikes, apart from the BMW school that I did. And to be honest, I didn't really see the appeal with it being sat on a bike all day. But now I've been here, I am starting to see how exciting it can be. And I, this bike is comfortable enough to sit on all day and I don't ache like I normally do. I feel like I could just go on and on and on. Watch this space. Maybe there'll be an adventure coming up. A little bit of camping. Beans on the barbecue. Roasting a squirrel. <laughs> well, this area we call our jungle minefield. And the reason being, you can see the little tree stumps in the grass. Can you see that? Yeah. They're scattered all over the place on this trail. And what we're going to do is work our way up the side of the trees to the top end where Patrick will be. You turn and come back down this trail here, avoiding the tree stumps. Isn't that David Attenborough? Next thing we're going to do is put you on a little bit more technical area. Cool. Okay. So it's a steep descent. Yeah. Sharp left-hand corner. Ascent. Sorry, it definitely got a spider in my ear. Bike World we've got the Triumph Explorer as our camera bike and it's there for us to use whenever we want to but I've never felt confident enough to take it out however this is making me feel more comfortable with a bigger bike and maybe I'll take the Triumph Explorer out if the Bike World boss lets me. Right, so I know I made a real meal of that and if I was on an expedition, obviously, I'd just come straight down the middle. Thank you so much to you and Pat for having me here today for the adventure riding, my introduction to adventure riding. But what happens now? I feel like I want to come back and step it up a notch. Well, you know, we're really pleased to hear you say that. I mean, we have a lot of people come back and do the day two and day three. Uh, for us, that will be uh, a move into the adventure training. 
So we will take you to the stage where we're preparing you for your expedition. We'll, we'll start riding with panniers. We will start looking at bike and, and kit that you need for uh, uh, a travel abroad. And then we'll do an overnight camp and we'll teach you some survival skills. We'll look at some uh, scenarios, looking at difficult situations of border crossings, things like that. Uh, we'll talk about some map reading, uh, we'll talk about some navigation skills, and we'll get you fully prepared for a trip abroad at some point in the future. So when you say overnight camp, have I got to like, make my own uh, is, is It's as hard or as easy as you want to make it. I but want I to mean, make it hard. I think, well, what we'll do then, we'll, we'll, we'll get your shelter building, uh, you'll make your own shelter. Brilliant. Uh, we'll camp it overnight, we'll cook out in the field. Um, yeah, be good. Love it, I can't wait. Well, like I said, thank you so much for today. I feel like I'm going away with improved confidence. And I felt really comfortable on a big bike, which I, I didn't think was possible, Well, actually. they're good bikes, so, aren't they? They yeah, are great really fun. Good bikes, uh, easy, yeah. comfortable, good for learners. Yes. Yeah, we love them. Richard, thank you so much again for today. And thank you, Pat. I know you don't want to be in the picture, but you can, you can see him. You turn around. Thank you very much, guys. And I can't wait to come back and do some expedition training, some more hardcore stuff. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Now, Joe should go.